Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while. It's, it's, it's been a long time since I uploaded. I just had a lot of crap going on, but I am ready and excited to start making more videos this year. I hope to make a lot of cool videos in 2018, but I am going to start my first video of the year talking about my favorites. I uh, Last year, I know this is a little, little bit late, but I still wanted to talk about some of my favorite products because they are good, good, good products. So I wanted to go through my 2017 favorite makeup. How many times can I say that? And do I have anything else to say? I don't, but I, I also chopped off all my hair, which is a really big change for me. I've never really done it this short before. I did one time, but he was, he was ugly. So yeah, I don't know if you guys wanted to know that or not, but now you do. And with that, let's get in to the video. I got my tea ready because I have a feeling this is going to be a long video, so grab a snack, but I'm going to try to make it short. But I like watching long videos, but people tell me that my videos are too long, so we'll try to shorten them up. I'm going to go in order of how I apply these to my face, starting with primer. My favorite, favorite, favorite primer of 2017 has got to be the Smashbox Primerizer. This is the Photo Finish Primerizer. It's a Primer Plus moisturizer, and it has hyaluronic acid and niacinamide in it, which are very, very good um, plumping, hydrating, anti-aging ingredients. This is a perfect primer for people with sensitive skin. It does not irritate your skin at all. It has a very lightweight lotion texture. So even if you're oily, it's not going to make you feel overly creamy. It's very light. It feels like it's like a gel. It feels more like a gel than a lotion. And I love just slathering this stuff on my face. It is perfect for dry skin. I'm also oily down the T-zone and I don't notice this making my skin more oily. I'm wearing it today and I just love the base that this gives to my foundation. Also an honorable mention, the First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer is also a very, very good uh, primer moisturizer combination if you have dry skin. I have two <laughs> I have two favorites for foundation this year. The first one being the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. This thing has saved my life. If you watch my channel, you know that I suffer from very, very sensitive skin that's always irritated. I get, my skin gets irritated over the smallest things and I can always count on this to be gentle to my skin. You can get a medium to full coverage from this product. It looks so beautiful on the skin. Like it just looks effortless. It does not look like makeup. It's very, very, very natural, and but it still covers. Like I said, you can get up to a full coverage with this product, but it just never looks cakey. I think it's because of the ingredients. It has a lot of hydrating ingredients that are good for your skin, so you could really build this up, and it's never going to look bad. So this is an amazing, amazing foundation, and it's definitely a favorite of this year. Okay, next favorite is a drugstore favorite. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I am in the color 205. This foundation... <coughs> uh, why? This foundation matches up with all of my high-end foundations. It is just as good as this one, and it is half the price. This is a beautiful foundation. It's very similar to this one in the way that it has the finish of it. They're both slightly dewy finishes. This one a little bit more so than this one, but they just give your face such a healthy glow. 
this is going to be a theme going on with everything. I go for the things that give you a beautiful glow that look very natural on the skin. And this foundation is definitely a glowy. Hence the name. But yeah, these two, awesome for sensitive combo dry skin. Okay, next up, concealer. Favorite, favorite concealer of the year, and this is not talked about enough, which is crazy to me. This is the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer. This is so, so good. It has the coverage of Tarte Shape Tape. They're both, both very full coverage, but on me, the Shape Tape, um, if I put it right underneath my eye, it does dry up quite a bit, not really crease, but it just makes my under eye look very dry. So I have to put shape tape a little bit lower down, like right here, for it to look good on my skin. But this one, I can put it right under the eye. I have it on right now. I'm wearing most of the products I'm talking about. Yeah, so I have this right under my eye. It blends out effortlessly. It gives you a beautiful matte finish it's full coverage but it still looks healthy like I told you this is a theme in this video but I don't know it's just a beautiful concealer like it totally cancels out blueness everything it cancels it out but it never looks cakey on me no matter how much I apply it, it never looks cakey on me. So I absolutely love this concealer. And it's just like a little doe foot applicator and I don't know. It's just, it's a really good product and I don't know why more people don't rave about it. Okay, so for powder, I have two. The first one is the Charlotte Tilbury... Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. I'm in the color 2 medium. Um, I'm, I hit pan, which I'm so sad about because this shit is very, very, very expensive. So I'm so sad that I hit pan on this, but oh my god, you guys. I have dry sensitive skin, if I haven't said that enough to you in this video. This stuff, you can pile it on, pile it, pile it, pile it on, and it is undetectable. You do not see this on the skin. It truly gives you a airbrush filter. It looks like your skin has a filter on it. I don't know, it, it truly does give you an airbrush finish. There's some voodoo in this shit. It is amazing. I have never found a powder like this that you could just keep applying um, like at once or throughout the day you could keep applying it and you will never see it on your skin It's just such a good product. I just hate that. It's so so expensive um, A cheaper one that I really 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 love is the RCMA no color powder. I Can't bake. I'm just it's it looks oh it looks really bad when I bake, but I can bake with this product it is so good. This is the only product that I can put under my eyes and it'll make my eyes look smooth and not bumpy. I do have Melia, Melia or my, Melia I think, yeah, under my eyes so I have small bumps everywhere so any powder accentuates those bumps and it looks really really bad but I find that this powder has never done that. This powder actually smooths over the bumps and gives a really like soft focus finish. And I also use this on the rest of my face. It is very, very nice. Today I used this one all over. I didn't use this one. Also, when I do eye makeup, that's going to be really dark. And I have my face already done. I'll just put this under my eyes to catch all the fallout. It's really good for that. I love using this for that as well. So those are my two favorite powders. If you watch my videos, you'll have seen me use this in every single video I've uploaded. That is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I cannot live without this. This is one of the best products ever. I use this to bronze, to contour, and to highlight. Um, so to bronze, I'll usually use these two shades. 
and then I'll use the lightest one, um, the lightest one to contour, and then I'll use these two up here under my eyes in the center of my face to really highlight, and it's amazing, it's amazing, it's the perfect color for me. I love how you can mix all of these and come up with your own color, like there's a dark peach, there's a light peach, there's a yellow, you know, it, it's just very versatile. I have it as contour on my skin right now, and I also have it a little bit under my eyes and on the center of my face with these two to highlight, and it's just awesome. My most used bronzer of the year has got to go to NARS Laguna. This thing is beat up as shit. But, oh my god, I love this bronzer. Can you tell? It's almost finished. I have to get a new one. But I've got to say, this lasted me a long, long, long time. Like, I've had this for a while, and I just started hitting pan on it now, which is nice, because it is very expensive, but... This is the bronzer I have on my skin right now. What I love about this bronzer, first of all, it's the perfect color for my skin. It's not too orange and it's not too gray. It's just the perfect bronze. Also, it does have a very light shimmer in it, but it doesn't come across as shimmer on your skin. It just comes across very skin-like because your skin isn't completely matte and your skin isn't completely dewy. So this gives it kind of the best of both worlds, if that makes any sense. So the little bit of shimmer in it just makes it look more skin-like, which I love. I, I, I like that it's not completely matte, but I don't know. I just think it gives the most beautiful finish to the skin. It is the perfect bronzer. I don't have any more to say about it, but he's good. He, he's very good. So blush, like picking a favorite blush is kind of hard for me just because I change my blush with whatever look I'm doing. You know, like if I'm doing a lighter look, then I'll maybe I'll go for a pink one or if I'm doing a heavier eye look, I'll go for a nude one. So it's very hard for me to pick one blush. But the standouts to me this year are definitely Glossier Cloud Paints. I love these. These are liquid blushes. I have never used a cream or liquid blush that's been this easy to use. I actually find, um, I find cream blushes really difficult to use. I find it hard to blend. They're just a little bit intimidating, but these just, you could just take it Pat it on, blend it out with your fingers, you're good to go. Or you could put it on your hand like this, dip your beauty blender in it. Let me show you. So I'm just going to take my, even though I already have blush on. But yeah, and then you can just go like that. And this color in Dusk is like the perfect peachy nude. This looks so natural on the skin. It doesn't look like makeup, you guys. Like, on no makeup makeup days when you don't want a lot, put this a little bit on your cheeks. It looks so natural and just, like, your skin just looks so perfected. It's, it's beautiful. I love these, and I love every single color, and I need to get more of them. Okay, I'm getting out of breath, so I'm going to try to go through these other products a little bit faster. Highlight, favorite highlight of the year has got to be the Maybelline Master Chrome by Face Studio Metallic Highlight in the color Molten Gold. I love this highlight. This is the highlight I have on my skin right now. I mean, it speaks for itself. It's so beautiful. You can take a bigger brush and just kind of lightly dust it and it just gives you a beautiful sheen. Or you could really, really build it up and it'll give you that beautiful metallic, glossy glow. Like, it's, I love it. It's the perfect color for my skin tone. I don't know how this would look on skin tones lighter than mine because um, it is pretty gold. There's a swatch of it right there. So it's really gold, but it's just so pretty on my skin tone. Like when you blend it out, it just looks glossy. Oh, so pretty. Love this. One more 
Cream Highlight Glossier, Glossier Halo Scope in Rose Quartz, I think. Quartz, yeah. Love, love, love this highlight. Again, on no makeup makeup days, this thing is beautiful. It's like, isn't that so pretty? It's almost translucent. It almost looks like a translucent balm. So when you, you when you put it on your skin, it just looks like um, you're really naturally dewy, almost like you're sweating a little bit, you know, but in like the sexy way. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. That's what this gives you. It just gives you that wet, sweaty glow and oh, I love this. So this year there wasn't an eyeshadow palette that I was like crazy about that I used every single day. I mean there were really nice good releases this year but I don't know. I just like I don't I haven't stuck to one palette as this is my holy grail. This is what I love throughout the year. But I do have some eye products. The Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal Top Coats are amazing. They're similar to um, the ColourPop Super Shock shadows in the formula. Like the formula is very um, jelly. Like it's like a gel consistency. And this is something you can just literally throw on and you can put this on top of eyeshadow you can put this by itself like I'm doing here and it just makes your lid, lids look glossy or if you put it on top of like a smoky eye it just gives like a little bit of a gloss grungy effect which I love I have the colors um, bronze and nude right now I just used the bronze one I think and it's just, it's so pretty. I love these. It's just such an easy product to throw on. And it makes you look like you tried. When you did it. Favorite eyeliner this year has got to go to the Marc Jacobs Gel Highliners. These were reformulated. Um, and these are bomb. First of all, they have every color you could think of, like any color imaginable they've come up with. They're beautiful, beautiful colors. These are so pigmented. They stay on. If you have watery eyes like me and your liner um, goes down your face slowly, slowly throughout the day, these do not move. They are so beautiful. They're easy to smudge too if you're quick with it. Um, but once they set, they are set and they're not going anywhere. So love these. Favorite mascara has got to go to All May One Coat Mega Volume Mascara. I was sent this um, free by Influencer to try out and since I've been sent this, I have not used another mascara. I don't think. Maybe once in a while in videos, but if you look, watch my videos, you'll see that I've been using this. It's just so beautiful. It's so volumizing. It's so lengthening. The brush is really like, it's like a telescopic type brush. So you can really get in the lashes. You can turn it around this way. Oh, I got my hair. You could turn it this way and get all your bottom lashes. You can, you know, like, it's just such a well thought out brush and formula. I, what more can you say about a mascara? He's nice. He's good. Okay, you guys, lastly, lips. Um, I didn't pick, like, a specific color. I just picked the formula that I love the best. And I have loved the Lancome Matte Shakers. These are the ones you shake it up and it has that really big applicator. And Oh my god, smells so good. And these, if you like wearing matte lipstick, but you don't like the feeling of your lips drying out throughout the day or crumbling or... Oh, all that gross stuff that happens with liquid lipsticks, but you love a matte look, oh my god, you guys, go for one of these. They have an amazing color range. This is one of their nude ones. It's beautiful. It goes on, like, 
glossy and then it dries down matte it isn't transfer proof it does transfer a little bit but it's just so comfortable on the lips it's very pigmented so comfortable so matte so beautiful i just sounded like a commercial lancome hit me up okay you guys so that is the end of my 2017 beauty favorites if you stuck around till the very end you are amazing thank you so so much for watching i am so excited to be back to filming videos i have some really good ideas well not really i have to think of some really good ideas but i am excited and i hope all of you guys are having a really great 2018 so far and i look forward to seeing all of you guys in the next video bye guys